Hai Assalamualaikum everyone So in this video Kita akan tengok reaction of Alkin And this is the example of Alkin And I divided these notes into three parts So the first one is preparation of Alkin Okay so ada dua dekat situ So the next part is electrophilic addition So kita ada hydrogenation, halogenation And hydration kita tambah air And hydrohalogenation tambah H dengan halogen The next part is kita ada oxidation First one ozonolysis And then KMnO4 with OH- and cold And KMnO4, H+, and heat Okay so kita tengok the first one which is preparation of alkene So the first one kita ada dehydration of alcohol Sini kamu ada alcohol And you want to form alkene Okay, so dehydration means you re removing water molecule. Okay, so from alcohol, kita nampak yang kalau biru tu. Okay, kita nak remove this H and OH daripada your alcohol. Okay, so you can see there, kita remove OH and also kita akan remove H. Okay, remember dehydration buang air So lagi satu H dengan OH So when you remove HOH there Kamu akan form carbon-carbon double bond And you will form this alkene Okay Tapi mesti ada reagent Okay Dan condition Okay so kalau kamu tengok the arrow Concentrated H2SO4 Dan bawah arrow Kita ada heat Okay ataupun triangle tu sebagai heat lah Concentrated H2SO4 hanyalah sebagai catalyst. Okay. Alright. For the next one is dehydrohalogenation of haloalkane. So, okay. From the haloalkane, nanti kita akan remove hydrogen dan juga halogen. Okay. Okay. So, D means kita remove. Hydro means we remove hydrogen. Halogen means we remove halogen ok so we are removing HX so in this case kita remove HBr so we will form double bond in between so ini adalah your alkene so dia punya reagent mesti ada KOH base in ethanol as the solvent and mesti dalam keadaan reflux ok reflux dengan heat tak sama so wajib tulis Reflux if it is in reflux Okay And you can also use NaO Okay as the base Alright So let's look at the next one Which is electrophilic addition So as the name itself Kita tambah addition Tambah sesuatu So these all are the reaction Okay So apa yang ditambah masuk Okay we buka double bond Open the Break the double bond And then kita akan tambah electrophile masuk. Okay. So, this carbon-carbon double bond dia adalah nucleophilic side. Okay. So, apa yang ditambah masuk dia adalah electrophile. Okay. So, first kita akan tengok hydrogenation. Okay. Next kita akan tengok yang lain-lain lah. Okay. The first one is hydrogenation. So, From the reaction, kita ada alkene, okay, react dengan hydrogen and PT ni sebagai your catalyst saja, okay, metal catalyst. Boleh jadi palladium, boleh jadi nickel. And then you will get carbon-carbon double bond tu, okay, hydrogenation kita tambah hydrogen H dengan H akan masuk dekat your carbon-carbon double bond tu. So tulis balik all the template, okay, yang warna hitam ni. Tulis balik dia punya carbon chain and buka double bond, break the double bond, carbon-carbon double bond, masukkan hydrogen to it. Okay, carbon 1 dan carbon 2. Okay. And then the next one is halogenation in inert solvent. So, ini kita tambah halogen to this alkene. Okay. So, you can see there inert solvent. Okay, maksudnya dia tak terlibat dalam reaction. Okay, yang terlibat hanyalah your halogen. Boleh jadi Br2, boleh jadi Cl2 pun boleh. Okay, so in this case, Br akan masuk at both carbon. 
Okay, carbon carbon double bond break. Jadi carbon single bond dengan Br at both carbon. Okay, so tulis je balik templatenya, and then break the double bond. Tulis Br at each carbon. Alright, so next one masih lagi the same alkin. Okay, so this alkin kita akan react dengan Br2 in water. So kalau nampak water sini, dia akan react. So Br masuk dan OH masuk dalam carbon carbon double bond yang kita break tu. Okay, so tulis balik the template. And then Br akan masuk dekat carbon with hydrogen and OH masuk dekat carbon without hydrogen. Okay, so take note that. Okay, so ini adalah halogenation in water. Next is, okay, daripada alkin tambah air with acid catalyst, ini adalah reaction hydration. Okay, so hydration means we add water. So, electrophile kamu H dengan OH. So, carbon-carbon double bond. So, hydrogen will be attached at carbon with more hydrogen. Okay. And OH pula akan masuk dekat carbon without hydrogen. Okay. So, ingat H dia akan bond to carbon with more hydrogen. Kita akan compare carbon sebelah-sebelah tu which previously ada carbon-carbon double bond. So, Ini kita akan cakap dia follow Markovnikov rule. So refer back to your notes apa Markovnikov rule cakap. But in simple word, okay, hydrogen will be attached at carbon with more hydrogen. And next one we have reaction with HBr ataupun hydrohalogenation. Kita nak buka double bond, carbon-carbon double bond break and kamu akan uh, attach Electrophile hydrogen and Br to the carbon. Okay, so hydrogen will be attached at carbon with more hydrogen. And Br, dia akan masuk at the adjacent carbon. And this one follow Markovnikov rule. And the next one, if you have peroxide. Okay, so with the presence of peroxide, contoh H2O2. Okay, kalau ada je peroxide yang in your reaction, automatic dia akan anti markovnikov rule any peroxide okay so hydrogen dia akan pergi dekat carbon yang tiada hydrogen ataupun with less hydrogen attached to that carbon okay and br dia pergi masuk dekat attach itself to the adjacent carbon next one is oxidation kita ada tiga and then Kita akan tengok one by one lah. So, the first one is ozonolysis. So, kita akan just predict the product of the oxidative cleavage. Okay. So, for this one, kalau ozonolysis. Okay. Just break the carbon-carbon double bond in between. And then, kamu tulis je balik the part yang terpisah tu. Okay. The half of the alkin. And then, break them and tambah oxygen in the middle. So the product is aldehyde and ketone on the left side is aldehyde and on the right side is the ketone. Right. So with the same alkene, kita buat reaction with KMnO4 OH- coal, carbon-carbon double bond break and OH OH akan masuk. So dia akan produce diols. So your product here will be tulis balik exactly the same. Exactly the same alkene punya carbon chain. Just the part of carbon-carbon double bond tu. Kamu buka and masukkan OH. Okay, so this is your product. Okay, dapat diols. Next is KMnO4 H plus with heat. H plus is your acid. And this one, dia akan buat oxidative cleavage. And just tulis semula your carbon with double bond and then breakkan di tengah. So, tambahkan oxygen in between and then you can see ada hydrogen on the left hand side. Okay, so, kalau ada H plus and with heat dia akan undergo further oxidation. So, if ada saja hydrogen, dia akan terus convert jadi OH. Okay, so the left hand side tu H akan further oxidize jadi OH 
So product on the left hand side will further oxidize and product on the right hand side tak akan further oxidize no changes sebab tak ada hydrogen. So this one will be carboxylic acid and on the right hand side will be ketone. So this is all untuk reaction of alkene.